Today, I'm going to help you avoid the three common mistakes when you begin overlanding. Let's go! Number one, don't buy huge wheels and don't buy giant tires. You don't need them, at least not yet. Your wheels and tires are going to provide the first line of defense against rugged terrain. So you want to get a quality wheel and quality tire and not just some cool guy setup. Buy a wheel that will allow you to maximize your sidewall. Sidewall equals more comfort on rough terrain and it gives you the ability to air down and create a larger footprint for your vehicle. Also, a smaller wheel usually means lighter weight and that will return more power and better braking ability when it really counts. To start off, buy tires that are within two inches of stock. Any bigger and you might have to re-gear and maybe even chop your vehicle to make them fit. It's a fact. Big tires cost more. More fuel, more wear and tear, upgrading your brakes, and a slew of other obstacles to do it properly. Number two. The second common mistake when you begin overlanding is buying too much suspension. It's better to start stock or almost stock and learn your vehicle. Take it off road, find its limitations and its capabilities. It's worth taking the time to learn all the intricate details of how your vehicle will perform. That's going to show you what kind of suspension you're really going to need. Then you'll need to find a quality setup that you can grow into and build on top of. And we had found the limitations of our truck and we knew that we needed more than it had to offer. We needed to modify our suspension to create a safe environment for us to live out of while showing our kids the world. That's why we went with the MCM Fab medium travel kit. Then we started building. What you see here today is a manifestation of those wild dreams. The third most common mistake when you begin overlanding is not training with your recovery gear. It's inevitable. We are going to have to self-recover at some point. That's why we bought all that rad gear hanging off the rig. Right? We have our max tracks, winch, snatch blocks, tree saver, shovel, winch extension, dead man, shackles, tools, spare tires. The list goes on and on, right? We have to train with our recovery gear just like we're going to use it. That way, we're able to use them effectively without injury or causing more damage. Not having the skills to self-recover in an emergency situation is dangerous and could be life-threatening. Think of it like this. As a firefighter, I rarely use my recovery gear. No, it's true. I rarely use it, but I train with it all the time. Because when we need it, people's lives are on the line. And that's no joke. So being under stress and being able to use our gear effectively is a must. This translates into my personal life as well and reminds me of a story in the early 2000s. I'd properly got my rear differential stuck on the edge of a cliff. I was inches away from going over. One rear wheel was hanging off while the front tires were barely clinging to the ground. It was so sketchy. It felt like one gust of wind and my 4x would have been totaled down the cliff. I slowly crept out grabbed my recovery gear and gently started securing the vehicle. Once I had it secured, I ran my winch out to a tree and started slowly pulling my truck off the cliff. Without all that training, it could have been a lot worse. We have to practice with our tools, just like we're gonna use them in real life. Here at Wolfpack Outdoors, both my wife and myself practiced getting our vehicle safely bogged on the beach, and we practiced digging ourselves out with our max tracks. In a controlled environment, we'll deploy our winch. We practice single line pulls, two to ones, and even three to ones. Knowing how to use our recovery gear before we really need it is the difference between filing an insurance claim or driving away safely. There you have it guys, the three common mistakes to avoid when you begin overlanding. If you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a question or a comment below. I'm Austin. Thanks again for watching Wolfpack Outdoors. Live unbound. Always explore. Family forever. Later.